Hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Welcome to another edition of iMogul TV, where we talk about a little bit of beauty, a little bit of business, and a little bit of branding. And today we are going to talk about beauty because I love me some beauty. And you know, I'm a girl. I like, I like looking good. So anyways, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, thank you for coming back. I am super excited to introduce to you one of my most favorite beauty uh, regimens, my favorite beauty secret. One of the things that I will never be without, and it has to do with facial exercise. Now, I know that there's a lot of other um, facial exercise programs on the market. Um, to be honest, I don't know anything about those because the very first one I found was um, several, several years ago when I was 33. Um, and that was the one I stuck with. I didn't look anywhere else. Um, I was searching in my own mind when I was 33 because I was noticing some changes in my face. That was a really interesting uh, year for me because a lot of changes were going on. And I, real and I also worked out. So I used to lift weights. And I remember thinking, you know, um, I can do all this stuff for my, for my body and my legs and I can look really good and build this muscle and it looks firm and tight, but what about the face? And Honestly, I started looking on the internet, and the internet was not as, uh, I'm surprised I found what I found on the internet. But um, I came across uh, a beauty, I mean, a, a company by a woman named Deborah Crowley, and she created her own exercise regimen. She was also a bodybuilder back in the late 70s, and she actually had the same question that I did. You know, why is it that we can do all this stuff to make the body look young, but not for the face. The face has muscles just like the body. As a matter of fact, she said that the muscles are attached to the skin as opposed to the body. The body, your muscles aren't attached to the skin, but the face, it is. That's why we can smile and we can make all these faces or, and gestures or whatever. So that even more so was her um, reason for saying, yeah, if you build the muscles in your face, that should help to lift and firm the look of your face and make the contours look like your youthful contours. So she created, she created Flex Effect, and it's a train. This is the training log. Let me show you her, her program here. Facial resistance training, and hers was unique because, like I said, there's a lot out there. Um, they do kind of like yoga training for the face or pressure point training. She does facial training for the muscles underneath the skin. She's built, you're building muscle underneath the skin to make those, to make, to lift your face when you start sagging, to make the, because you know we go flat in here with our, our cheek area, so she, she created an exercise to help that, to help with fine lines and wrinkles, um, wrinkles in the forehead to help firm the form head, um, forehead, she was just, she really, you know, I'm amazed that, because I don't think she was in science major, I just know that she was a bodybuilder, but I don't think she was, you know, in the physical fitness science kind of study, but she did her work and she came out with this amazing product and I am so very thankful because I'm going to be 48 in four days. Not happy about that, but hey, you know, it happens. That's why I'm so, I've always been a beauty fanatic and I'm always like, okay, you know, I'm always growing and I'm always, I'm building my business and I want to be able to look good for as long as I can while I'm doing these things. So that's why I'm all into beauty, uh, skin care and, and health and all this kind of stuff. Fitness, <laughs> lately not so much. I really need to get back on the bandwagon with that one. But, you know, that's a whole other story. But um, to be able to still look healthy and, and, and somewhat youthful to me while I'm growing and I'm building things of the things that my heart's desire, this was really something that I was thankful for. So um, basically, she created, um, well, let's start from the beginning. Like I said, I started when I was 33. She has, mus she has um, exercises that help build the cheek muscle, basically the whole muscle of all the muscles in the face, including the scalp, which is a really big, um, um, it really makes a difference when you help to keep your scalp firm because it lifts everything up in the, in the face. And if you notice, in which I really never even gave it any thought, but I will show you the picture of the, um, the facial diagram that we do have muscles in the face, okay, even the, and around the eyes. 
so we can keep our eyes firm and wider and tighter and keep our brow lifted simply by building the muscles and the surrounding muscles. She says it's, you don't want to spot exercise. You don't want to just build one area because you say, oh, well, my cheeks look like they're sagging or I'm seeing sagging here and all you do are exercise for that because you have to understand that all the muscles of the face are connected. So your, your, your chin is connected to your, to your jaw and your jaw is connected to your cheek and there's all these different muscles and they're all connected. And um, as far as I'm concerned, it worked. Um, I'm not going to lie and say that in my family, aging is a little slow. I mean, but still, even I noticed at 33, my face was sliding a little bit. I could see the changes in my face. Um, and so once I got a hold of her book, and she has a CDs, and actually she's got, they've evolved over the years. So the first one that I had, um, I think that was the very first um, collection that she came out of exercises, and then she started discovering new ones, so she would add to the collection. So yeah, I, I think I purchased her very last one, maybe it's the third edition, I think. Um, but to me, I still use the basic exercises. Um, I still do them. Sometimes I don't do them as often, um, but I do them at least, you know, in the beginning I was doing them every day because that's what she recommended. Now there is a disclaimer with any facial exercise, you know, you've got to take in the, the structure of your face, um, the size of your face, the size of your jaw area. Um, a lot of these things, the age in which you start, you know, how much, um, how much, aging how do you already have before you started because I suggest people start in their 20s start in your 20s because I see a lot of women in their 20s that could pass you know that like they're already looking like they're getting into their 30s or 40s or whatever not 40s but you could see that there's you know there's sun damage and there's lines and there's wrinkles and there's some sag that I notice so um, the earlier you start the better but that does not mean you can't start when you're in your 60s or 70s because there are plenty of women that have started and I've seen their testimonials and they've just completely changed their face. I mean, these people were committed. You know, this is not, not just, a, this is not about creams or potions, which you want to use those because it's still, you know, you want to, um, you want to create a, a good environment for your skin and you want to take care of your skin and you want to be able to put all of the the products that are necessary and I definitely do that but when it comes to the underlying muscle of the skin that's what keeps the firmness that's what makes um, your face look youthful you have those youthful contours and um, there are products that can help that a little bit you know you might see a little bit of improvement but it doesn't last this using facial exercises to me was one of the best investments that I could ever have invested in I mean to me as far as a beauty secret this is something that I will never stop doing unless I get arthritis which knock on wood I don't plan on getting that nobody in my family has it and I don't plan on getting it <laughs> but even still I would try and think of some kind of way to use these exercises so she has exercises for the whole face and she recommends that you don't spot train meaning you don't just do your cheeks because you notice your cheeks are sagging because your cheeks are connected to your lower cheeks which are connected to your forehead everything is co connected so sometimes people can get in trouble or they can see like they're having some sort of weird reaction because or w weird look to their face because they're trying to just spot train and you got to realize you're all the muscles in your face are connected she has mus um, exercises for the, the neck um, for the jaw area for the chin for the lips to make the lips fuller um, for your eyelids now to me my biggest challenge have always been my lower lids but I think they would have been worse had I not had I not found her her program it's not an expensive program I will put all of her information in here um, from here uh, so you know how to get a copy of her program um, I'll give you the information to her website and I will put it in the description box below but I just wanted to share with you flex effect now um, one of my favorite exercises and like I said I do do I do everything but is the forehead area for forehead lines and to keep this area uh, firm and it also lifts up your um, your brow area and basically it's just putting pressure 
on your um, forehead, pulling down and then lifting up with your eyebrows. That's just one. I'm not going to demonstrate all the, the, the exercises. You definitely need to get her program. Definitely pick up her CD. She even has a, one of her products comes with a little log, a training log, so you can document, you know, what you're doing and when you're doing. You can keep track of the exercise that you're doing, what exercises work best for you and which don't because she has different variations for the same exercises. And I think that helps because, like I said, we all have different structure in our face. Um, yeah, and they also for the neck. Now, the neck is getting challenging. The neck is a challenging area. Um, and I need to do more neck exercises as I'm getting, you know, into my late 40s now, apparently. Um, I definitely have to start paying more attention to my neck. And before, I'll be honest, I didn't do a whole lot of neck exercises because, you know, I didn't, you know, we all, we often neglect something that we don't see that there's something wrong, but we want to maintain that look, that youthful look, we need to start using these exercises. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I will give you all the details. You've got to get this program. It's an amazing program and it'll go, it will be with you for the rest of your life. You will want to use it for the rest of your life. I know some days, like I'll notice my face is looking a little tired and I will do the extra, some, a few of the exercises in the book and I look rejuvenated again. So this is an amazing, amazing, I can't say enough about it. I love it. I'm glad I started it back when I was 33, way back then. Um, and I will never be without it. All right, so that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe because we got a lot of cool stuff that I'm going to share with you. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks, thanks again for joining me. And bye-bye for now.